would like the Muslims to accept that their ancestors are Hindus and therefore we are brothers and sisters. One Muslim asked me, what is the proof? I said, see Cambridge University Journal of Genetics where Muslim and Hindu population DNA has been tested and found to be the same. Brahmin DNA and scheduled caste DNA is also the same. North Indian DNA and South Indian DNA is also the same. All this Aryan Dravidian is all bogus. They are all British construction. There is no word Aryan in our scriptures. There is Arya. Arya means civilized person. Dravida was a word introduced by Sri Adi Shankara. When he said that, when he was asked, when he had gone to North India, he was asked, who are you? He said, I am a Dravida Shishu. Shishu means child. Dravida says, it is a sandhi of two words, tra and vid, which means where the three oceans meet. And the three oceans are Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal, Indian Ocean. That means South India is Dravida. And this Karunanidhi, like a fool, has swallowed the British theory. And he started propagating Aryans and Dravidians. He even went to say that Ramayana, you see, Ravana was a Dravida king. And we shall celebrate Ravan Leela. You celebrate Ram Leela. I told him, you don't know, Ravana was born near Delhi in a place now called Noida. His wife was from, Mandodri was from Meerut. Ravana went to Mansarovar and Kailash and prayed to Lord Shiva. Shiva gave him a varam, gave him a boon. With that boon he saw where, which, where I can conquer. And he saw that Guber had made Sri Lanka beautiful. So he came to Sri Lanka, conquered it. After some time Karunanidhi accepted that. So now he stopped doing Ravan Leela. But he still is very angry with Ram. When I was fighting against the Setu Samudram project, of course I've got it stopped now from the Supreme Court. I was describing the Rama Setu to the court judges. It came in the papers. Karunanidhi addressed a meeting and said, What is this Swami saying? Rama Setu. Rama built it. Is he an engineer? Which engineering college he went to? Next day he fell ill. So he had to be admitted to hospital. The hospital's name is Ramachandra Medical Hospital. <laughs> so I sent him a letter, get well, but at least be happy that Rama has got an MBBS. This is the how our minds and divisions take away. What is this Aryan Dravidian nonsense? Do you have to be born in a Brahmin family to be a Brahmin? No. Proof. Take Maharishis of our country. Were they born in Brahmin houses? Veda Vyasa. Mother, fisherwoman. Kali Dasa. He was in the forest as an Adivasi cutting wood. Vishwamitra, the Rishi of Rishis, born in the Kshatriya family. And Valmiki, born in a scheduled caste family. These are all written, you can see it. Bhagavad Gita says that it has got to do with gunas. Because we divided society into four parts. Someone will only work with knowledge but will not have weapons, will not have wealth, will not have land. Some will work with weapons, but will not be able to make policy because that is the area of the Maharishis who work with knowledge. People can make money, but money will not give you social status. Only philanthropy can give you social status. You can work on land, but land must produce food for the people. This was the division, division of labor, division of economic power. But it, over the years it got fossilized and became into birth. 
Today a man will claim I am a Brahmin. Why? Because I was born in Brahmin house. What occupation you got? I am director in Bata Shoe Company. Well, there is nothing wrong with being director in Bata Shoe Company, but then don't say you are a Brahmin. You are a commercial man. Ravaishya. In fact, all this caste division should go. It can't be rescued. Should all now henceforth slowly learn to say, I am Hindu and nothing else, because your DNA is the same. I even proved it in Maharashtra for that Raj Thakre who said all these UP Walas are coming and uh, taking over our Marathi jobs. So I quietly got a sample of his hair and a sample of the hair of a UP taxi wala. And I compared their DNA and they were the same. And I announced it in public that I think that Raj Thakre also came from UP because his DNA is the same as UP Walas. <laughs> this difference must go, the identity of an Indian. That either he is a Hindu or his ancestors were Hindus. That is the identity we want to foster in this country for a united India.